Hey guys, it's Monica. I am going to draft my husband, my sweet husband, and I'm going to do a little bit of a twist on the assumption tag. So some of you know that I posted on my community tab on YouTube as well as on Instagram asking any of you if you had any assumptions about me and that I would answer those assumptions. So I basically didn't get a whole lot of assumptions and most of them were pretty mild, especially compared to some of the assumptions that I had, you know, videos that I had watched. The very first answering your assumptions about me video I saw was with Jen Loves Reviews and I thought, well, I'm gonna do it. So the twist is that I'm going to read your assumptions, all of the assumptions that were left for me and I'm going to have Jay answer it about I, me. I haven't even seen any of these stupid, we, stupid questions, or are they just questions? You shouldn't say stupid questions, honey. They're not stupid? No, because it, it was my friends, my subscribers, yeah. that have left these questions. Oh, I So, I, you know, you really can't be saying, you have to ignore him. He has no clue what he's doing. I don't. So anyways, um, I'm going to read the assumption, and you're going to answer it about me. Does right. that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So the very first one is, I assume you were a bit of a hippie and a free spirit back in the day. Very good assumption. <laughs> very, very good. I would say yes. <laughs> she was definitely a free spirit. And uh, yeah, barefoot and pregnant. Is that what the they say no yeah well yeah I was barefoot you know I had the uh, really wide bell bottoms and I kind of sewed the panel in myself with psychedelic type of material so yeah you were happy I was definitely a flower child piece little you know little flowers in my hair and I walked around like that and I have a, a shirt I have a photo on I'll try to insert it in here you can see my little piece my piece photo so yeah that was absolutely 100% correct the other one is, I assume you were, you are very sweet. Of course. <laughs> Do you think I'm very sweet? Yeah. I, I think I probably am more of a sweet person than a, um, than a mean person. But I have my moments. I have my, my streaks. Yeah, it's only when I mess up. <laughs> which is often. <laughs> no, most people would say that I probably more kind-hearted and sweet yeah, yeah. In, the, in that sense. Yeah. I assume you are very comfortable with who you are and lead a contented life. Just saying. Just saying. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, pretty much. I'm pretty comfortable and yeah. lead a contented life? I think as so. long as you do what I say? Exactly. I mean, you know, hey, happy wife, happy life. Oh, I like that. I mean, you know, you can always wish for more. You really can. You can wish for more money, more free time, more travel, all of that stuff. But it, at the end of the day, you have what you have. And I definitely, I, I am content with my lot. I really am. Overall, I try to make the most of every day yeah. and every moment we have together. So yeah. Yeah. I would agree with that. I am a content person for sure. I assume, oh. I assume you love every minute of every day. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, huh? no, I don't know. Not every minute of every day. There's, there's times when you just, you know, just have those moments. You know, things don't go well, and uh, not everything is hunky dory all the time. So it, it is not. I mean, real life is real life, and yeah. and you know, sometimes real life, like video life, R E E L life. You know, it may be easy for people or people will think, oh, look at, you know, everything is so easy. But, you know, when the camera's off, everyone has their own challenges. They have their own yeah. their own issues. And, and I try to love every minute every every day, but I work full time. And oftentimes when you work, you get stuff thrown at you that you get to deal with that you may not necessarily love. Or you may have a husband like me <laughs> that gets thrown at her. <laughs> That's true. But I do love you. I know. I do love you. The next one is Monica. Hmm. Assumptions. I assume you are a busy, busy lady, but also find time to have some fun and take care of yourself. Oh yeah, it's it's obvious. 
Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I agree. I um I wish I had more time, but I I I do believe that you've got to have me time for sure. The next part of that is I I believe that you're a loyal friend and that you consider others opinions but you make up your own mind in that whatever you were looking for. Oh, definitely. Very very loyal. Um should die for you. Uh if you're a true friend, uh yeah, no yeah, should die for you. And uh yeah, I I am definitely a very loyal friend. I think that um, unless somebody literally crosses me blatantly or deceives me blatantly and I find that out then it's sort of like you know shame on me at that point in time for not having seen it earlier I suppose but yeah it takes a lot to break that switch that I have you know that sense of loyalty if that makes sense yeah. it definitely takes a lot uh, this one is funny um, what can I say that I assume about you? Well, okay, I assume that you are very healthy and always on the go, and maybe you are a bit of a pat rack, and you love making your videos. Pat rack? Yeah. Pack rat. Pack rat? Yeah, I mean, just all I have to do is look around. <laughs> they can't see you around. Yeah, but you... <laughs> yeah, she keeps everything. Um... <sighs> I am more than a bit She's, of a pack rat. I and think. you're healthy, pretty healthy. You haven't been going to the gym for the last couple of years like you used to. Um, but yeah. once the weather breaks, she'll be out there walking. I know she walks at work, get a couple of flights of stairs. She'll go up and down with a friend at work. And, you know, I remember I came to visit her one day and she said, Oh, I'll see you a little bit later. I've got to go up and do all my steps. So I ended up just sitting waiting for her in her office. So. Yeah, we do. We have Julie, um, one of the girls and I, We every hour we try to walk three flights of stairs and then we get to the top and walk all the way around the other end of the building and then down. It's just something to keep us moving every hour. And I do have an Apple Watch and that does remind me, and Jay is absolutely right, I haven't gone to the gym in a long time and neither has he. But once the weather breaks, I'll be back doing more fitness walking, wearing my arm weights, and hopefully really stay motivated for keeping moving, for sure. Um, what was the other part of this? Uh, pack rat, yeah, you don't see the rest of what's around me. And many of you know that we've been on an attic clean-out project. So I will say that not only am I a pack rat, I married a pack rat. Not as bad as you. Uh, I don't know. Think of all the steins. Think of all the baseball cards. Yeah, but those cards. are things that were given to me from my father. So yeah, but you kept them. Yeah. The baseball cards aren't weren't. No. But yeah, no. I think that I think we both have an issue there, and that's why we're trying to really clean it out. I think. So and I do. The next part of that was I. Uh, what do you, I do enjoy making my videos. I do. Oh, yeah. I even like the editing process and I think it's kind of fun. I mean, the only time that I'm thinking, oh, I really don't want to make a video is if it's late at night and I'm like tired. Like but in ten general, minutes ago. like 10 minutes ago, <laughs> <laughs> but in general, I, I do like it a lot. So this I will edit and this will go live when we're in Vegas, Ooh. maybe. Ooh. The next one is I assume you were a smoker like I was. Yep, she's been smoke free now for going on 19 years. So 19 years. I've never smoked. I did smoke a little pot when I was in high school, uh, but other than that, I just never liked the taste of cigarettes. And being married to her, she, you know, she'd always come in and brush her teeth, you know, after she was outside smoking because she never allowed her to smoke in the house. So, and uh, my father passed away from smoking, so and she knew it, and uh, so she finally did kick the habit. It took her a while, but. Took me a long time. Yeah. Sometime I'm going to do a video on that because that was interesting to me how I, how that came about. But um, the next one is I assume you are kind of a country girl. Country girl? When I see think of country girl, I think of Ellie Mae Clampett. <laughs> so I would say. Yeah, sort of, kind of. I'm more of a laid-back girl. I like the beach. I like hiking. Not hiking so much anymore, but I like walking. I like camping and stuff like that. But I'm not like a farm girl. You know, I don't, I, I'm not like out there pitching the hay and, you know, cleaning the pig 
slop. Slop, you know, so I, I probably am more country-ish than city-ish for sure. Huh. Because the, you know, the big city is like intimidating. Well, we, even today, when we were down in the city, you said, oh, how can anybody live here? <laughs> I know, so. it's like one house on top of another and people all over the place in congestion. Yeah, that, that, I, so yeah. So I guess it depends on your interpretation of what country girl means. I assume that you're a glass half full kind of girl. Oh, definitely. Every, everything's half full. Yeah. yeah. God, she won't let me try to get any negative thoughts in my mind. And uh, she's the same way. It's always got to be positive. Always have that positive outlook. That's for sure. I think that's so important that you kind of always like look for the best in whatever circumstances are, are around you. So I 100% agree with that assessment. I'm definitely a glass is half full yep. all the time. I assume you like sports and golf with your husband. No. <laughs> no. No. I do like um, I I do like watching the Patriots games on an occasion. Football. I think it's because I always like their uniforms. Yeah, she likes the tight pants. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like watching baseball because they look like they wear on their pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> and it takes so long. In basketball, oh my God, that's like even worse. These people walking around in gym shorts. I mean, <laughs> you know, football I enjoy watching, but golf, I uh, I don't golf with my husband. I have I have filmed him on the golf, you know, when yeah. we were in Nova Scotia, mm -hmm. but I don't I don't golf with my husband. A friend of ours says every time I say oh, Jay's out, she goes, oh, is he playing pastor? Pastor pool, pastor pool. Pastor pool. I mean, like it, to me, it's like that little white ball goes all around. How boring is that? Oh, that's great. Yeah. So no, I don't. I don't play with my husband. Um, well, <laughs> golf. <laughs> golf. <laughs> okay. Um, I bet you like your booze. <laughs> Not as much as she used to. Um, she likes her margaritas and she really likes uh, black Russians, but um, we don't drink as much as we used to. We're not real party animals anymore, So, but she does like a drink. I do like a drink. Dark I mean, and stormy maybe in the summertime. Yeah. I mean, I do like a drink on occasion, but you know, like we can go weeks and weeks and weeks and never have a drink. And then we go out somewhere and I might have a drink. And Or like around Christmas time, I think we had some, what did we have? We had a bottle of something and we had like a little wow it was your, you had Jack Daniels and I no you had that other stuff we had a little um I think I had amaretto and you had something else yeah. but whatever so it's very very rare unless we're going out or we're going specifically to a party and then yeah and then I I'm do all, like my I'm boots. usually the designated driver yeah which is good yeah I, I assume you went to Woodstock no. No, I never made it out the window. She tried that to night. sneak out, but she didn't. I tried really, really hard to sneak out, but I couldn't. I assume you can be nasty when you get mad. No comment. <laughs> when I yeah, she can, she can. We haven't had a big rip roaring fight in years, but uh, she's very stubborn. Uh, oh. And if I say no, I don't want to do something, and then if I change my mind five minutes later or ten minutes later, no, nope, not going to do it. Nope, no, nope, just not going to do it. It's like well, I can change, you know, change, you know, why I don't have to do everything you want to do, but then if I change my mind, I'll do it. No, nope, I can do it. Nah. I am very stubborn, and absolutely, when I want to do something and he says no at first, then I it kind of takes it away from me. I don't want to really do it when he changes his mind. It's sort of like, well, you should have wanted to do it when I wanted to do it type of thing. But I don't think I get really super nasty when I'm mad. I can be driven to be nasty. Jay is very, you are more of a nasty mad person when you get mad. It's very rare that he gets mad, but when he gets mad, you like, you are an attacker. You, yeah. like, you are a digger. Yeah. You, you dig, he, he says, oh, what about 20 years ago when you said this? What about 15 years ago when you did that? That's how Jay is when he gets mad. Me, I don't even think that way. I just don't talk to him for the rest of my life. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's nice and quiet around here. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. I assume you don't hold a grudge and forgive people very easily. 
Are you going to go for that? Um, she'll hold a grudge for a <laughs> while. <laughs> I will hold a grudge. I... She's not as forgiving as I am. I can I can get mad at her for how long? Five minutes? Yeah. And then it's, it's gone. Although the last time you got mad at me, it was you held it for a lot longer. What did I get mad at you for? I can't remember, but you did get wicked mad. See, I don't even remember. Yeah, well, that's the problem with men. They never remember, and then they just repeat the same thing all over and over again. I'm the type of person, you know, like when you throw the stuff under the carpet, I like to pull it out and get rid of it instead of letting it pile into the carpet. That means I like to talk about things. You know, women are from Mars and men are from moons or whatever it is. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Oh, close enough. You know what I mean. So I do like to talk it out, and he likes to just forget it happened. I mean, is that not typical? I think so, right? Yeah, to go on to the next one. I assume you like to drive fast and take risks. Yeah, she's a lousy driver. <laughs> I am? Not the best. Yeah. I do, I, I don't really drive fast. I don't really take risks. I mean, I, I don't stop when I see the yellow light. I will speed up, you know, when I see the yellow light. But I'm not, I, I mean, I don't think I, I mean, I do go above the speed limit. But I don't think I take risks. Just move along with traffic, basically. Yeah kind of like that. I assume you wear makeup every single day and love to dress up. <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> of course you love to wear makeup every day. You like to dress up. Yes, um, I guess that is true to a certain degree. But when I'm home on the weekend and I am not going anywhere, I wear sweatshirts and oh, yeah, yeah. sweatpants. I don't get dressed up when I'm not going out. I do have to get dressed up to go to work every day. I don't wear makeup every single day when I'm home. I always wear mascara, though, no matter what. Mascara when I'm home. Still makeup. Um, yeah, I suppose it is. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. I, I don't know if this is going to see the light of day. But I do have to um, thank my husband for trying to do this assumption tag with me. I told you I didn't have really dramatic questions. I no. must be kind of boring, right? No. No? No? But you did a good job trying to answer what you thought my answer would be. That was right. Most of the time. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye, guys.